Hi, I'm Marcus Newsom, Superintendent of Chesterfield County Public Schools. Welcome to Newsmakers. Joining me today is Kieran Braswell, who is a sophomore at Monacan High School. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you with us today. I'm uh, just so impressed with some of our outstanding students in the school division. You're certainly one of those, those students here to tell us a little bit more about the Governor's Academy for Health and Science at Monacan High School. Um, tell us a little bit about the program you're involved in. Uh, the program at Monacan is unique in many different ways. We do a lot of hands-on training and activities, which mm -hmm. uh, helps, well, me personally learn better, which I fairly enjoy a lot. Yeah. Tell me about some of the unique classes that you're involved in. Uh, this year, we, the sophomore class takes the HPT chemistry class the HPT English class and their own choice of like their the HPT elective. Um, I am in the nutrition class, so we learn all about like good nutrition and what it takes for like athletes to have the good nutrition and all that. And it's a that was a semester one, and um, now we are doing the complementary medicine class. So we're learning all about like the complementary medicines that go along with like. The new we the Western medicine, mm -hmm. which is which is fairly enjoyable. So explain to us what is HPT. The HPT program is now what is, what does it stand for? Uh, health and physical therapy. Health and physical therapy. Okay. Yeah. So I would imagine that you're involved in some very unique activities mm -hmm. in the program in addition to the coursework. Tell us about some of the activities that you've enjoyed. Uh, with hmm. With nutrition, mm -hmm. we did we there was a county fair, uh, yeah the county fair, mm -hmm. no sorry state fair, okay, um, and they had a HOSA day, um, so we the nutrition class prepared like the perfect meal for a teenager our age mm -hmm. um, to have in one day, and we showed it off and it was a competition, we showed it off to the judges there and we won first place for it. Congratulations. And so we like made the poster board as like a table and had little skeletons kind of sitting at the table and had mm -hmm. the meals or glued onto it. So I would imagine that would be appealing to young yeah. people your age. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, health is one of the uh, fastest growing uh, industries in the country and certainly is um, a real interest to our students. But tell us a little bit about your plans for the future. Well, I came into the program just wanting to be like a regular physical therapist and just like who, helping whoever needed physical therapy. When I got into the program and into the classes, it kind of changed from physical therapy to more like the complementary medicine mm -hmm. kind of stuff that I was talking about um, and more towards acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. Then it changed once again to working back with physical therapy, but with amputees who need prosthetics. And so I want to help teach them how to use the prosthetics and how to better mobilize their world, kind of, so. Well, you've been a great guest um, in the uh, remaining few seconds we have. I know you're involved in more than the health physical therapy program. Tell us something else that you enjoy as a student at Monacan High School. Um, I'm a big part of the band program at Monacan High School, and I fairly enjoy that. Fairly enjoy it, even though it is hard to work around school and other after-school activities, but I make time. Well, so. uh, you're certainly a fine example for Monacan High School and students throughout Chesterfield. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for joining us on Newsmakers.